Hi, YouTube friends. I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. And I just want to share with you that we just moved into a brand new office space down in our little small town. And uh, so my film studio is down here. And uh, eventually, we're gonna. I'm going to split my herbs. My um, herbs at home are going to stay at home. And my medicinal herbs that I'll use here at the office and with clients will come down here. But we're in the process of moving and I'm so excited. So you're seeing our little new film set <laughs> in the studio for the first time. Uh, anyhow, this is going to be a how-to video and I haven't done one in a while. So I'm, I'm really happy and pleased to be doing this. But as I was moving my uh, journals and my notebooks and things over, I loved, I was just perusing them and I came across this recipe uh, for joy and peace, I called it. Uh, but it really does help with stress and it smells so beautiful. And I thought I would share it with you today. This was one I used to sell in my shop many years ago. It was super popular. And um, I so I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> this is a wonderful formulation. And I'm gonna also be sharing with you different ways to use it. So we're going to go ahead and start out by making a stock blend. So a stock blend, is when you mix your essential oils together in a larger bottle and you can then have a lot of drops of it. And then you can choose to use the drops how you like. I'm planning on using this quite often, to be honest. I just uh, sterilized my bottle with alcohol, so I'm trying to get it all out of there. Um, so I'm gonna make quite a lot. I'm actually going to make um, about half an ounce of stock blend, which is approximately about 150-ish drops, give or take depending on the essential oil drops. So what I'm going to do here is get my essential oils and the essential oils we're going to use, <clears throat> move my scale, um, are we're going to go ahead and use uh, wild orange or citrus sinensis. We're going to use ylang ylang or kananga odorata. <laughs> we're going to use, and this is important, thyme, with a chemotype of linalool, okay? That's very, very important that you get the right chemotype because if you uh, use thymus vulgaris with the chemotype of thymol, it's gonna stink, okay? I'm just telling you straight up. Be sure that you get a chemotype of linalool. And I'll write this down in the description too. If you don't have thyme chemotype linalool, you could substitute with basil, also chemotype linalool. That chemotype is very important. Or just plain old lavender. Lavender is full of linalool. The scent profile is going to change. It's not going to be as lovely, but you'll still get plenty of benefits. And I think it will still smell uh, very nice too. But in my case, I'm using thyme with a chemotype of linalool. Next up, I'm using neroli. Uh, neroli are uh, little blossoms from a citrus tree. And then I'm using clary sage. Clary sage is very relaxing and super helpful for most women, as a matter of fact. So those are the five oils I'm putting in this blend. So what I'm gonna do now is get them all measured out. Okay, so I just took the opportunity to do all my drops into my bottle. And I'm just going to tell you what I did really quickly. That took me about uh, eight minutes. <laughs> so I didn't want to sit here and have you watch me just do drip, drip, drips. But anyway, uh, I have a half an ounce dropper bottle here. So this is just a little tiny, like a tincture style bottle. You can also get the amber glass um, essential oil bottles as well. And this does again, holds quite a few drops. And what I did here was I took my recipe for my stock blend and I doubled it. And that's because I wanted quite a lot of this. I'm planning on making some sprays and some products for people to sell here. So um, definitely want this one in my little apothecary area. But anyway, here's what here's the ingredients for this. So wild orange is a 128 drops, okay? 128 drops of the wild orange. Uh, next up, we've got clary sage, and I used 64 drops of clary sage, 64 drops of clary sage. And then we've got um, ylang ylang, which is 32 drops, neroli also 32 drops, and the thyme, chemotype linalool, remember, is 32 drops. So here we go, that's what we've got here. And uh, it's given me um, almost a nice, half ounce of this stock blend, which I love. And I'm going to label this right now 
because I'm famous <laughs> for doing these videos and saying, oh, I'm gonna make sure you label and I don't. So this is what I've got on here is the title of it. I call this blend joy and peace. And I just really love it. It smells kind of floral and green, really fresh, but still just slightly flowery. It's really lovely. And again, um, a really nice blend. If you try it, let me know how you like it. Now let's talk about what you can do with this. So you could easily make a room spray and I will link to one of my room spray recipes above how to make a safe, effective uh, room spray. Be sure that you take a look at that so that you know how to make one uh, that's safe and effective and appropriate. Uh, many people believe you don't need a preservative and if you're going to use it in your home and use it up relatively quickly, and like within a couple weeks or so, you probably don't need a preservative. So this is totally up to you. But if you're going to sell products or even give them away to friends, I suggest somehow preserving your sprays and you can do that with high proof alcohol or an actual preservative. So that's one option. Another option is to make a lotion. So this is an unscented lotion base. And I like to actually make up a bit of this so I have it on hand. Sometimes I don't have time, so I'll purchase a nice unscented base. This I get from Pompeii Street. I really, really love this formula that they have. It's one of my favorites. It soaks in quickly, uh, it's natural, and um, it's it's highly approved, <laughs> okay? So really, it's a nice one. So you can make up a lotion for yourself with this blend, and this is four ounces. I just weighed it out. If you are going to make a lotion with an essential oil blend that's going to be for all over your whole body, you want to go with a one half, um, a 0.5% to a 1% dilution because you're slathering it over a large part of your body and your skin absorbs everything. If you are just using it on smaller areas like your hands or maybe your neck or chest or whatever is kind of a perfume, then you can actually go with a little bit of a higher dilution. A 2% would work just fine. If you are using it more as a perfume, then you could actually uh, go even a five to a 10%. So those are just some ideas for uh, using it in a body lotion or even a little uh, solid perfume, like a little salve or things like that. I do have recipes here on YouTube for homemade lotions. And all you have to do is just, you know, substitute your scents for your homemade lotions. And I'll go ahead and link to um, a really nice one uh, up here in the thing. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, we've talked about sprays, we've talked about lotions. Let's talk about massage oil. So this is jojoba oil, and you could actually create a beautiful massage oil with this. Again, if you're going to be using it over large portions of your body, or maybe if you're very sensitive to scent, go with a low, low, uh, you know, or I should say a high dilution of 1%. When I say a high dilution, it's dil more of a carrier oil is being used. And so you want a 0.5% to a 1%. I always say that wrong, low, high dilution, but basically go by the percentages, okay? You, want, you don't want too much essential oil in it because again, it gets into your body and goes everywhere. You can use this into your diffuser. Let's just say that you're in the mood for just a beautiful, flowery, green, herbaceous, scented home. This is wonderful. Uh, I, I think this would be just amazing in bath salts uh, or in a candle, you know, for, to, to just kick back and take a re really relaxing bath with. But anyway, that those are some ideas for how you could use this little stock blend. I am going to go ahead and get my lotion mixed up right now. I've got my glass stir rod and my little four ounces measured out and I've got my pump bottle ready to go and I'm going to make this up for myself. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it and uh, it was so good to do a how-to video with you guys today. It's been a while. All right, and if you want to see other things, please let me know in the comments. If you have an idea for videos you'd like me to do for you or make for you or things that you want me to teach on, just let me know. All right, I am Heidi Villegas. Don't forget to get your free 24-page uh, guide to relaxing with herbs and oils. 
I think it's very relevant to this video. Uh, my herbal remedy guide is also available for you and I'll put other links in the description uh, below. I'll put links to where I purchased my essential oils. I am a non-brand specific aromatherapist, by the way. With that said, I'm super picky about where I purchase my essential oils and I think everybody should be. It's just what you should do. <laughs> it's just the safe, right thing to do. Okay, I will see you all in the next video. This was really fun for me. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm Heidi Viegas signing off. Bye-bye.